Hello, YouTube of America. I'm Queen Aliera. You um, might know me from the Elder Scrolls. Um, what to play next? I go by Angendra. Girls always use a handle online. Um, it's just safer than using your real name. It's something we always recommend. But I, I've noticed a problem with the use of America. If there was like a bid button, like some people have impulse control. You guys have impulse control. Is that can anyone suggest something to you? Like if there's a bid button, you would lunge for it. So today we are going to take you through a little thing called Frogger. As soon as I figure out the control scheme. What is go? And you will see file manager, slider, controls, video, select new machine, return to machine. You will see what it is like to arcade. Because this is how we learned patience when I was younger. See that little guy there? He doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to pass away. He wants to cross the street. So he needs to wait his turn. Do you know what's going to happen to him if he doesn't wait his turn? He's going to get run over by a car. The things we learn in life. So if you have not... Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. See, I got excited. Now I'm off the screen. There we go. And they will disappear eventually. You died a lot in arcade. Yeah, that's how we learned. So the short version of this thing, this is the futility that was gaming back in the 1980s. And this is what we grew up on. So when you guys are like, I don't understand, you know, why it's taking five whole minutes for map to download, we don't understand why you don't understand what it's like to play through a game 800,000 times. Because see how each of my froggies have to have a face in a different crenellation? Just so that you can see ending credits. And then of course there's the street cred, you know, there's always that. Now mind you, it looks like this is an easy game to play. You're probably sitting there talking smack. You're like, Angry Birds? Angry Birds would run this over. Haha, <laughs> good frogger joke, right? No, buddy. No, it wouldn't. You want to know why? Because by the time you get to level 5, you're going to be crying big salty tears and wishing that you hadn't been mean to your mom so that maybe she'd help you. That's what's up. Anyways, occasionally we do go through on what to play next and introduce people to the wonders of arcade um, because it was a very interesting sort of thing that... This craze that hit in the um, like 80s to 90s where um, people were pumping quarters into arcade machines like it was okay. It's still a place to hang out. Um, they have it, gosh, they have it down at Elks, which is um, a kind of high-end uh, camping. It's not a campground. You kind of have to be a member, but it's a kind of high-end camping place in um, downstate New York. Um, where you can just, they still have that as um, an option for you. You know, should you be of the arcade bent, you can go play there. How do I get it to go? Control scheme. There is one. See, look at those cards go. Now I can move around. I can move left and right. I can be impatient. I can try and do it quickly. It's actually very good for hand-eye coordination for me to do that. One thing that I can't do is cheat. There's no DLC that all of a sudden is going to let me win this. I can't buy a new outfit for my frog and talk to my friends about it. All they care about is did you get splattered by a semi on the way across the street? That's all they're asking. So like I said, it was a very different sort of approach to gaming and it was definitely something that anyone who lived at the time is never going to forget. And no, we do not understand the iPad generation. We genuinely just don't. The fact that you need my credit card to play a game, the fact that you don't want to wait the four minutes, the fact that your DLC is absolutely necessary for life. Honey, go buy a roll of quarters. You can probably go up to a Tops or something. It might be within walking distance if you're old enough. Trade it in and play some arcade games and you'll experience feelings that you have never known. Frustration, the anguish. See, I know to avoid that, that's a crocodile. 
I got splattered. I was doing so well. See, now I have to take a social step back from my rant. Do I appreciate that? No. No, I don't. Do I appreciate the length of time they're making me wait for the intro? No. So anyways, that's Frogger. I mean, if you're having a mega flashback like I am, every once in a while I do chuck an arcade game in there just to kind of keep these whippersnappers on their toes because the bottom line is arcade gaming taught us patience. And we have all these people who are up in arms about, you know, does gaming cause this? Does gaming cause that? Gaming does have an inverted culture. We have spoken about it in the blog, badfantasyrx.blogspot.com. That is very adult. Avoid it if you're a child. But we did have that discussion with um, first person and what you are and aren't allowed to do. And it is very inverted versus law versus society, um, which was interesting. But arcade games teach you patience. So parents, if you're watching this and you just had your blast from the past, maybe you want to hand your kid a roll of quarters and go teach them the wonders that, <laughs> that are non-PC gaming. Or you can find it online. Either way, thank you for coming along for the ride. This is what to play next. Drop us a like and subscribe for everything that's awesome in gaming. Much love.